Hi there, it's Luke here once again, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. First of all, I'd like to wish you all a happy new year, and then we'll get to the subject of this video. 2020 has been a crazy year that I'm sure most of us are happy to see the end of. It's been a year of challenges for M5 Stack, but we've also done quite well. And we're going to be looking at the top selling products in this video of 2020. But first off, if you're not familiar with what M5 Stack is, here's a short clip giving the history of M5 Stack and some of M5 Stack's most famous products. M5 Stack is a Shenzhen based company founded in 2015 by CEO Jimmy Lai. Jimmy saw a gap in the market for a rapid prototyping kit for IoT applications. So he developed the M5 core, which is a 5 cm by 5 cm modular stackable IoT development device. He developed various stacks for using with the M5 core, which could add functionality such as RFID or GPS and so on. He also developed units which are small devices which can add sensor functionality in a small footprint. Moving on from this we saw that there was a big need for prototyping in the wearables industry. So we developed the Stick C and the Atom, pint-sized devices with many sensors built in and low power consuming. Also, we moved to a lot of industrial applications. The main areas that M5 Stack's business focus on is industrial applications, STEM education, and also the maker hobbyist market. Now we've got that done and out of the way with, without further ado, let's have a look at the top 10 best-selling products for M5 Stack in 2020. In at number 10, we have the TOF or time of flight sensor. This is a laser ranging sensor that we can use to measure distances of up to two meters. Some interesting use cases I saw for this sensor were this Cartesian laser scanning device and also this Lego based PID control training device. Check out the project links down in the description. Next up we have the COM series, which is a series of modules designed for the original core devices. The modules add communication capabilities such as LoRaWAN, GSM, GPS, LTE and so on. Scouring the internet, I wasn't able to find many projects utilizing these devices. However, the YouTube channel Shotoku Tech has a nice guide on how to set up two LoRa 868 devices to communicate with each other. And for those who prefer to use MicroPython over Arduino, Lemariva has a guide on his blog on how to set up these devices in MicroPython. In at number 8, we have the ENV2. Now the ENV2 is simply an updated version of the ENV sensor also found in the IoT kit. The reason why it's been updated is that the DHT12 in the original ENV is now end of line. It's now been replaced with the SHT30. So what does this sensor do? Simply put, it tracks the temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. Therefore, it works pretty well in applications such as weather stations, sensors for plants, and in IoT applications. Next up we have the Atom Echo which is a core device in the Atom series. The Atom Echo functions as a smart speaker. Projects include using it to control appliances in the home or simply to play audio on the device from a phone. Next in at number 6 we have the long-awaited M5 Core 2. Fans of M5 Stack have been requesting a touchscreen version for a long time, and M5 Stack finally delivered. Alongside the touchscreen, the M5 Core 2 also features a vibration motor, an RTC, 
an improved power management chip, and a bunch of other features not included in the original core. As can be expected, users have been creating new UI interfaces which utilize the touchscreen, such as games, calendars, and even remote control for robots. Next up we have the Tama Camera Series, a selection of ESP32 powered standalone camera units. The Tama Camera F features a fisheye lens and a bigger battery. The Tama Camera X has a regular lens and a smaller battery and the regular Tamer camera is without case or battery. Since the Tamer camera series was only recently released, I haven't seen any projects on these yet, but there's a handful of guides on setting it up which I'll leave down in the comments. In at 4 we have the classic M5 stack grey device. One of the advantages of this device over the original core is the BMM150 magnetometer which when paired with the MPU6886 allows the collection of motion data in 9 degrees of freedom. There is a handful of cool projects which demonstrate this functionality. In at 3 we have a joint entry of the M5 stick and M5 stick C+. The plus being a later model with an enlarged screen and some other features. This device was created as a development solution for wearable applications. As we can see, many users have created smartwatch applications and even remote for other devices. In at number two, we have the device that started it all off, the M5 Stack Core Basic. This has been knocked off the top spot from last year, but the fact that it's still up here at the top of the list attest to the versatility and quality of this device. Basically you get an ESP32 with a screen, sensors and pinouts, all that you might need for developing on the ESP32. And the fact that you can easily plug and play, just like the Arduino before it, attaching any sensors and third party devices with ease thanks to the male and female headers located around the sides of the device. In at the top spot, we have the M5 Atom. The Atom comes in two versions, the Atom Matrix and the Atom Lite. It is the smallest product designed by M5 Stack, and it uses the ESP32 Pico chip. There has been many cool applications which have proved that this is not just a tiny device, but one that can be very useful and powerful too. Let's take a look at some of the projects. In a previous video on the M5 Stack channel, I showed you how you could make a miniature console that can play old school games with just the M5 Atom. Despite the fact that the M5 Atom came without a battery, users have got around this issue and created some truly wonderful miniature robots, such as this Walker robot and this minuscule remote controlled robot. That's it for our top 10 video today. Thank you for watching. If you have any cool projects that you've made with M5 stack devices, please be sure to share and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.